I just washed the lobster tails and I'm about to bring it to a boil. I already turned on the stove. And then I have my yellow peppers, some chopped green onion, and a scotch bonnet. And my red bowl where I'm going to break up the lobster meat in there, mix it together with this, and the bread, bread mix. And you'll see how everything comes together really quick. Okay, guys? Stay tuned for this quick, scrumptious meal. So, I can't boil my seafood without seasoning it. So, I'm going to add a little bit of these right here. And just throw it in a pot. I absolutely cannot just boil it bland because this is the only chance to give it some flavor. The only chance. I love cayenne pepper. Can't live without it. Now you can season it to your own liking, to each his own, okay, to each his own, Let's see, this was the all purpose, and then we need some of this. Now you might be thinking, wow, that's a lot of seasoning, but trust me, it's not. It's not. And I have to put a scotch bonnet in there. I cut a piece of it to put in the breading, but yeah, I need my spice, guys. I absolutely have to have my spice. So we're going to let this go to a boil. Let them swim around a little bit, come to a boil, and then we're going to peel them and do the rest. Okay, love, so right now, as the lobster tails are boiling real quick, we're going to do our biscuit mix, okay? I normally do the um, red lobster brand, but they were actually sold out. So, I don't know about you, but I really love this seasoning. And because I'm doing lobster, I really want it to have some taste. So, I'm going to throw some of this in there. I think it's almost done. I'm going to have to get a fork. Better yet, let's use one of these and kind of smash it up in there. Sorry guys, but I'd rather do this than to waste it. We're still seasoning. There we go. That's better. So we're gonna put some of that in there. Just because I like how it tastes. I'm gonna put some more of this in there. Can't go wrong with some garlic and herb because we are making garlic butter cheesy biscuits. Okay, so I'm going to mix that in. Okay, you're supposed to use milk, two third cups of milk. This is the milk that I drink, so I'm going to use this milk. And it's a little bit left, so I'm just going to pour that in there. I don't need to measure it. I know what I'm doing. I got this, okay? And then you need melted butter, which I have right here. This is that creamy butter, okay? But I want it to cool down. I don't want to put it in there um, while it's hot. 
Because you don't want your biscuits to like cook unnecessarily. So I'm going to bring this together. And then um, I'm going to throw in. Actually, no, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Hold on, guys. The lobsters are done. So I'm going to take these bad boys out. I'm going to cut them open and add them to the biscuit mix. But I have a little twist on how I do it, so stay tuned. Guys, I wish you could have smelt the aroma coming from these lobster tails. It smelled so good. But right now, I'm going to cut them open. And then I'm going to cut up the, um, the meat. And we're almost done. Once I cut them open and add them to the biscuit mix. We're gonna form our biscuits. Ooh, kinda messy there. Messy and nice and juicy at the same time. Ah, it's hot, guys. Ooh, don't worry. I washed my hands before I did this. Okay, so I thought this was going to be a smooth process. I guess not. There we go. Woo! Nice and beautiful. I'm going to taste it. Mmm! Mmm! You could taste the pepper. Oh, yes. So, oh, I'm excited. Now, some of you might be saying, why did I choose lobster and not um, crab? Well, number one, um, I've never been a fan of crab. There we go. I've never been a fan of crab, and I, I actually had it in mind to make crab cakes, but I forgot to put the crab in the freezer, so they ended up staying out too long. And I know that sounds ridiculous, but it's the truth. So I just grabbed for the lobster because I like lobster anyway. Maybe it was a subconscious decision because I don't like crab, so maybe I could care less for it. And I left it out, but hey, that's how it goes. That's how it goes. I should have grabbed more than two because I hope I have enough meat. I'm sorry, guys. I'm eating this as I go because it tastes so good. And I don't want it to waste can't let it waste this is good seafood right here okay I'll pick out that later but for right now I have this right here I hope you guys can see and this is um yellow peppers and some scallion I'm gonna cut up the lobster in there No, I'm not going to leave it in big chunks. I'm going to cut as much as possible. But everybody makes their seafood biscuits different. But um, this is how I do mines can't go wrong with the flavor the flavor is amazing amazing okay 
Let's get this last piece in there. trying not to cut my finger but I also want to cut this into as small pieces as possible okay guys so let me go wash my hands and then I'm gonna show you my trick this is gonna taste so good all right, love, so this is my trick. I'm gonna throw the cut up lobster, the yellow peppers, and the scallions in here. And you don't wanna overcook your lobster because you just boiled it. But just to give it that extra flavor, you're gonna saute this for a little bit. gonna saute that for a little bit let that go and then we're gonna finish forming our biscuits I already preheated the oven the oven is on preheated so we're almost there just want this to sweat a little bit in there get all that nice yummy flavor okay that's it and then this is ready to go in the biscuit mix let's go all right loves we're back and our biscuit mix is just the right consistency remember we were waiting for the um butter to cool down before we add it so this is the melted butter i'm gonna pour it in now Ooh. Maybe I won't pour all of it because I want some to brush the top of the biscuits with. So we're going to stir that really good. Remember, this is supposed to be garlic, buttery, cheesy biscuits. But to be quite honest with you, I will not add shredded cheese to mine just because me and my kids don't like cheese in our biscuits i'm gonna add this nice buttery mix to it and now we have to move fast because we don't want the biscuits to start cooking prematurely um but you don't want the lobster to get cold either because you don't want to keep cooking it over and over again so we're gonna mix, mix, mix. Get that really good. Remember you can add shredded cheese to your mix. I don't because we don't like shredded cheese in our biscuits. So I guess you could say my recipe is totally different from everyone else's. And then I'm just gonna add some cilantro. And then I'm going to form my biscuits and put them in the oven. Oh yeah, you can never have too much cilantro. Guys, when I tell you this recipe is quick, easy, and tastes amazing, I'm not lying to you. So I'm gonna show you how that comes together. Just look at that. All right, love, so I'm gonna use an ice cream scoop to measure my biscuits and then I've just put it in my hand like this and kind of mold it just like so and then I put it down you don't have to do much because it's already as moist as you would need it to be you're just molding them together 
and I don't want it to stick to my hands so I'm trying my best just use the ice cream scoop as your aid you know Ooh. don't worry about making a mess and don't worry about um, if they're gonna stick because remember you put melted butter in there it's not gonna stick and if you put it at the right temperature you'll be all set Ooh, this one is giving me a hard time so you're gonna mold that together put it right there And to be honest, this is like a quick like date night recipe. You could even make it together to each his own, but I would make it with my partner. It's cute and, you know, something where you could hold deep conversation and cook together, you know. So, I don't know if I have enough space for all of the mix, but that's okay. I have two bacon, bacon um, things, whatever you call them. I'm trying to move fast. And I know I'm making them pretty big because that's how we like them. We don't like them small. Because believe it or not, it's very filling. It's very filling. Guys, this smells so good. Like, I don't even know how to explain it to you. That's how good it smells. And it's not cooked yet. But it smells amazing. There's a little corner right there. I'm going to squeeze that one right there. I think this one needs to move over a little bit. Perfect. Almost done. Almost done. So I hope you guys enjoyed your summer vacations. I hope you lived your best life. Summer is not technically over yet, but... I really hope you all enjoyed your summer and if you're looking for quick summer recipes this is one of them you can't go wrong with a little bit of seafood you just can't so I'm almost down I think I have two left I don't know how I'm gonna squeeze these on we're gonna try there we go. Move that out the way. And we're going to bake this in the oven for about 8 to 12 minutes. Just keep your eye on it, okay? I think you're supposed to cook it based on the consistency. But remember, biscuits are pretty thick. So you want to keep an eye on it. All right, this is the last one. We're gonna put that one right there. Mold it up a little bit. Ooh. All right. We're gonna mold these up and we're gonna pop them in the oven. Yum. I can't wait, guys. I love seafood love 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 and if you are a pescatarian like me this is a good recipe for you to enjoy i'm gonna patch this one together it looks like it has a lot going on patch it together this one looks like it has a lot going on too let's see i got room for one more one more tiny one which is perfect because I could fit it right here 
Look at that. I'm not worried about these sticking together. All I care about is that they taste good. And when they come out, we're going to brush them with a little bit of butter that I have left. I just really want these to be formed good. Like, I don't want them to look crazy when they come out the oven. But even if they do, we're still going to eat them. Yes, we are. We're still going to eat them. I'll move that one over a little bit. Okay. I think we're good. Let's pop these in. Guys. Loves, if you're new to my channel, make sure you go and check out my podcast. I would very much appreciate it. Thank you for the support, loves. Alrighty, loves, they're out. And remember, I have some butter here that I'm going to rub on the top. Ooh. That butter is going to melt. Oh, so lovely. Guys, remember, these biscuits don't have egg in them, so it doesn't take long to bake. You bake them for 8 to 10 minutes or 8 to 12. It's literally just bread, milk, and butter, and lobster that's already cooked. So don't overdo it they're not raw i know some of you like to overdo it but if i had left these any longer they would have burned and we don't want it to burn see this one back here was already starting to burn and i'm not gonna put this back in the oven because the butter is gonna melt it's gonna melt lovely and all i know is this is not my first time making it, and it tastes amazing every time. I just want to get a lot of butter on there. Ooh, yeah, look at that, guys. And here's the finished look, guys. You see how buttery and flaky that is? I can't wait to dig in. So thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. And I'm about to dig in. Enjoy. Look at how soft these are. And flaky. Yes. Tasted the scrumptious too. I just wanted to show you guys. I tore them Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Listen to my podcast, guys. The link is in the description bar. So far, I hear good things about it. Until next time, God bless.